doing a build challenge with my friend. But I'm going to be cheating using Slash Slash Small, which can turn anything like this dog <laughs> super small. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Hi, Louie. Are you ready to start building? Oh, wait. Is that a puppy? I've never seen one that small before. Oh, uh, yeah, that's just a new update. Uh, anyways, the first round is gonna be Pikachu. So good luck. All right, well, I'm gonna go build. All right, see you later, buddy. Anyways, guys, it's time for me to start cheating. So what I'm going to do first is build a super small version of Pikachu. So I'll get some yellow, I'll get some black, and I'm also going to get some light for some eyes. And now it's time to get building. So first of all, we need to build a Pikachu build so that we can go ahead and use slash slash small. So let's go ahead and build some legs like this. And Pikachu is really, really fat. So we are going to build it just like that. So let's see here. I'll just go up a little bit, come out a little bit. And there we go. We now have Pikachu's body. And this is looking a little strange. He kind of looks like a raw chicken. But anyways, let's start building the arms now. I'll just put some arms here and here. Now, guys, we can add the final details to Pikachu, which is the yellow tail on the back, which I'm going to build out like this, going up in a staircase with the little black bit on the end. And now it's time to build Pikachu's face. Wait, I forgot a color. I forgot to add some red because Pikachu has rosy red cheeks. So let's just go ahead now and add a beautiful face to Pikachu. So I'll just get some eyes like this. And I'm going to be honest, guys, this is looking kind of goofy. Hopefully slash slash small will make this build better. But here we go. We have one more thing we need to do. We just need to go ahead and add Pikachu's ears. And they go up like this and have black on the end of them. Just like that. And oh my gosh, guys. This is the worst Pikachu build I've ever done. Comment down below if you think you could build this better. Louie, what are you excited about? You are totally losing. What? No, I'm not. My build is already looking amazing. But oh, guys, who am I kidding? This doesn't look good. I have an idea. Let's go ahead and use slash slash small. So I'll just write in the command like this. And boom! Oh my gosh! Why did this huge Pikachu just spawn? Guys, I just used slash slash small. And it turned slash slash huge! I don't know about you guys, but that was kind of weird. I thought it would turn it way smaller, but way more detailed. But instead, it turned it into a huge build. You know what? This is still pretty good. Because now I can start by building my traps now inside of my Pikachu. So let's get started. Louie, what are you so excited about? I bet your build looks terrible. What? No, it doesn't. Oh, oh, guys. He is kind of right, though. My Pikachu's rosy red cheeks are not even there. It looks like he's bald. <sighs> Look, I'm going to have to replace some of these blocks. So I'll replace these red mushroom blocks right here with red concrete. So I'll just do the command replace near hand red concrete. And boom! As you guys can see now, Pikachu has rosy red cheeks. Oh, Kip, does your Pikachu have a beautiful red rosy cheeks? <laughs> I bet it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, well, no, it just has feet and it has hands. That's all my Pikachu has right now. Oh, my gosh. Well, you need to keep building, but so do I. I need to get into my base. So I'm going to start adding traps now, Kip. You better start adding traps, too. Of course I am. But wait, Louie, we normally build our traps after we finish building, and you're already building your traps. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm just, um, uh, building the first trap, yeah, on the outside of my Pikachu. Uh, I, I still haven't finished my build. <laughs> oh, okay, Louie, then that is fine. But if you were already building your super-duper awesome traps, I would be super concerned. Yeah, but don't worry, buddy. I'm totally not building my first trap. And guys, my first trap is actually going to be a lava moat. So what I'm going to do is just get some world edit commands like this. And I'm going to put some lava just like this going around my Pikachu's foot. And this is going to stop Kip from getting in. Because he will totally fall into the lava and die a bunch. And that is going to be the best thing ever. If I can get Kip to just fall into the lava, he won't be able to get into my build. And I will be super safe. But anyways, I need a way for me to get over the lava just by myself. So I'm going to go ahead and make something. All I need to do is get a barrel like this and place it in the ground. Then I can get a floor mat just like this. And I'm going to put a message on it saying 
a kip? Keep out! Uh, and underneath the doormat, guys, what I'm going to do now is grab an oak boat like this one and just put it in the barrel that I hid underneath it. And now you can use these boats to jump across the lava and use them as parkour platforms. This is totally going to be amazing. There's no way Kip will find them. But just in case he does, I need another safety mechanism. And I think I know what to do. I'm going to put an electrified iron fence around this area here. This is where Kip will jump across with the boat, but he will totally get stuck on these iron fences. But because they're electrified, guys, he will start getting electrocuted. They are just like electric fences, and they are super duper deadly. If you walk into them in survival mode, you will take a ton of damage. But because they are my fences, I won't take any damage from them, so I can just get inside. Guys, have you ever seen iron fences in Minecraft? I'm pretty sure they have not got them in the game yet. They should probably add them soon. I wish I could have iron fences that make it harder for mobs to get into my base, but sadly, that's not how it works. Uh, but anyways, I need to work on my third trap on the outside, and I'll show you guys exactly what it'll be. I'll just mine a few blocks down into the ground like this, and then I will set all of the ground underneath my Pikachu's foot into water. And now we have this little moat just next to my Pikachu. I'm going to go ahead and just make a platform that you can climb on so that you can climb out of this water and straight into the Pikachu build. But guys, I'm not going to make it that easy for Kim to get in. What I'm going to do is get some sharkies and I'm going to put them inside of the water. But I need to change the difficulty to easy. All right, there we go. Now, guys, as you can see, we have a bunch of evil deadly sharks that will totally kill Kip if he tries to get into my Pikachu. I now think that the traps on the outside of this first foot are completed, but guys, this is the funny part. I'm going to make this a fake entrance! So when Kip walks in, it's going to kill him. So all I have to do is just go ahead and use world edit like this, and I need to take two positions. I'll take one over here and here, and now I'll set it so that there is a little red room on the inside. There we go. Now now, when Kip climbs into the Pikachu's foot after getting attacked by the sharks, he will be able to walk straight into this red room over here. And this room is going to be a good one, guys. It's going to kill him when he walks in. So I'm going to make it seem like he got through my base. To do that, I'm going to get a bunch of diamonds, and I'll place them at the end of this hallway. So Kip will have to make his way over here to them. Kip absolutely loves diamonds, guys. So he's going to totally run at these diamonds and try to get them. But what I'm going to do now now is I'm going to rig this as a trap. I'm going to get some diamond ore mines, and I'm going to place them on these diamond blocks. Now, if Kip touches any of them, he will be blasted to smithereens! <laughs> But guys, I need to make it look like these diamonds are protected. So I'm going to get some blocks of redstone, some lasers, and then something called a mode upgrade, which is right here. And now I'm going to place these redstone blocks on this wall right here, put a laser on it with my mode upgrades inside. And as you can see now, guys, these lasers look super deadly and they look like they are protecting these diamonds. So Kip will totally think this is my prize room, but it actually won't be, guys. What it's going to be is a room that will kill him. If he tries to get to the diamonds, he will die instantly! But let's not forget, guys, once he gets through here, he will die to those diamond mines. But I need to make a way he can get through so he feels like he's completing a trap. So what I will do is I will get a secret door like this and place it on the wall. And as you can see, it blends in with the wall right there. But I'm going to make it way more obvious! I'm going to put a purple block on the floor so Kip just sees it straight away. So he will walk into this room, look at the lasers, and then realize that there's a secret door right here he can walk through. So now I'll give him a purple walkway so he can walk through this tunnel right here and then he can get into the prize room, which will be right here. So let's walk through here and when Kip gets into the prize room, he will step on a diamond ore mine and blow up. So he will die twice inside of here if he doesn't already die to all of my other traps. But anyways, guys, now that I have my first fake entrance completed, it's time to build the real entrance which will be all the way over here. And what I'm going to do with this real entrance is make it way more secure. I'm going to get one side over here and one side over here. And I'm going to set it all to iron blocks. So I'll make a wall out of iron blocks that Kip will not be able to break into. So he will think the easy way is over there and try to go in through that side. But in reality, he will have to get in through this iron wall. And the way he will do it is by simply walking through this iron door. It's going to have a button on 
on this wall right here. And he totally won't notice it. He will try to do those traps before he realizes these ones are even possible. So now, as you can see, he will walk through this door right here and move into the next room. But this is where things are going to get hard. I'm going to go ahead and add some traps around here. I'll first start by adding some fake water on the ground. So let's go ahead and get some of that. As you can see, this looks like a regular water. But if I jump inside, I will take damage. And so will Kim. So I think that's pretty good. But now I'm going to make the floor blend in with the water. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to lapis blocks like this. So now Kip won't even notice there's water on the ground. And he might go and fall into the water. I'm going to do this a few more times. So I'll do a few more shapes like this with some water and then lapis. And Kip is probably going to fall in. But if he doesn't, we need to work on the next trap, guys. But just let me do this first. I'm almost done. There we go. I think that's good. Now the fake water camouflages with the ground. And Kip might fall in. But I'm also going to go ahead and add some spikes around just to make it more difficult. I'll put some of these dragon ice spikes. And guys, if you walk into them, you will get knocked back and they might knock you into the water, which will be really bad for Kip. But there we go. We added these spikes around and now it's going to be way too difficult for Kip to get in. But I'm going to make it even harder. I'm going to give myself some barrier blocks, guys. Let me show you what I'm going to do with them. Barrier blocks are like invisible blocks in Minecraft. So you can place them down and you can see them, but other players cannot, which is what makes them so good. So I'm going to make a barrier block wall. So Kip will try to jump across diagonally this way, and then he will try to jump across to the Pikachu's foot and fall in because the barrier blocks will be in the way. Kind of acting like a barrier, don't you think? Louie, are you making stupid puns? They are so annoying! Hey! My jokes are very funny, Kip, unlike yours. And what are you even building over there? I can see a bunch of lava. I am honestly building my awesome traps with my awesome Pikachu, and I wouldn't even call your jokes funny. I would call them funny. Hey! Hey! And, oh, that's actually kind of funny. You just made a pun, Kip. You called them punny jokes. I know, and it was so backward. I'm never gonna do it ever again. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Oh, how dare Kip call me not funny. You know what? I'm gonna go to his side, and he will pay. Let's go ahead and give him a bit of a trolling. So, guys, let's see what Kip is up to. I'll just go over here, and oh my gosh. What is this? His, his Pikachu's head is so long, and it's really, really boring. You know what? I think I'm going to troll it. Let's go ahead and get some invisibility potions. And I'll splash myself. Now, I can go over there without him seeing me. And guys, I have a really good idea. His Pikachu kind of looks like a bit of an alien with a long head. So how about I turn it into one? I'll just go ahead and type the command, replace near yellow concrete with lime concrete. And now, his Pikachu is an alien. <laughs> And these leaves are coming together super well. And what the heck? Why does my Pikachu look like an alien? Is he sick? <laughs> Guys, Kim is getting so confused. He's looking at his Pikachu, and it looks like an alien now from outer space. But wait a second. I'm going to do something really funny, guys. I'm going to go all the way up onto the top of his Pikachu, and I'm going to use slash slash paste like this, and boom! I just pasted in a UFO above his build. So now it looks like his Pikachu is getting abducted! What the heck is happening? Why is there a UFO above my base? Guys, I have an even better idea. Idea. I just put in this UFO, but there's no aliens inside of it. And that's my job. I'm gonna be an alien and try to convince Kip that his Pikachu needs to stay green. So guys, I just turned myself into an alien. And you can't see me, so let me just go ahead and clear my effects. But there we go. Look, I'm an alien now. Now it's time to go into that UFO and convince Kip to destroy his build or something. So I'll just get into the main driver's seat and I'll wait for him to come up here. And what I what even is this? I have to go and invest because this was not on my base like two minutes ago. Who's in here? Hello? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, believe me, Blorp. I'm an alien. Um, alien, why is your name Alan and you sound oddly familiar? Uh, no, I don't. My name is Alan the alien. You get it? 
Okay, well, Mr. Alien, what are you doing on my base? Why has my Pikachu turned green? Well, I came here and realized that your build has a long head, so it looks just like me, the alien. So I turned it into an alien. Well, well, Mr. Allen, the alien, turn it back! I do not want my Pikachu green, and it's supposed to be yellow. Uh, excuse me, I think this build looks good green. I think you should keep it green because an alien Pikachu would probably win a build challenge. Are you kidding me? And how do you know I'm doing a build challenge right now, Mr. Allen the Alien? You are being very suspicious. Um, it is quite obvious from up there in my UFO, I can see around the walls, and um, I kind of noticed there's a wall, so it looks like a build challenge. All right, Mr. Alien, but I want my Pikachu back! All right, well, um, I'm gonna leave it green. Anyways, let me go ahead and fly away in my UFO. Are you kidding me? Get back here! Okay, guys, all I have to do now is just turn to spectator mode and then just time slash slash undo. And it looks like I flew away in my UFO. What the heck just happened? Uh, Mr. Alien Dolly just flew away. Guys, Kip thinks the alien flew away, but Mleep Blarby's still here. But anyways, guys, let me go ahead and remove this skin. Let me just clear it. And now I'm back to Louie. But guys, now it's time to go ahead and keep building some traps on my side. So let's go ahead and go inside of my Pikachu and start building on some rooms. I think the first room has to be some kind of trap. So I'm going to go ahead and do the outline command and paste in a big red room. Now, you can go inside of this room right here and we can do the first trap. So let me just clear out some of these yellow blocks. Yuck! And now let's get some blocks of redstone like this. And I'm going to make a room called a laser reflecting room guys. And this is a really easy room to build. All I need is just a door that will block Kip's way from getting out of the room. So I'll just get a big wall, put a hole in for a door, and then put a laser catcher down. And now, guys, if I get an iron door and then power this laser catcher, it will open the door. So all you have to do is reflect a laser around this room with some mirrors to be able to get it into the catcher and open the door to escape. But this is going to be way too easy. With just two mirrors, you can get out. So I want to make it take way more. I'm going to add some obstacles. So, like, some zigzags that Kip will have to get around, like this. And then I'll just place a bunch of random blocks everywhere to make his life really difficult. He's going to have to reflect this laser everywhere. But there we go. That should be good enough. I think just to make it more difficult for him, I'll make all of the walls two blocks tall so that when he walks into the room, it will also be like a maze as well. But now, guys, let's give Kip a chest full of mirrors, and he is ready to go. So now, let's just get some ladders and move up into the next room. Oh, Kip, how are your traps coming along, buddy? My traps are coming along excellent! Oh, well, that's good to know, buddy. But they're never going to be better than mine. I mean, I'm literally the best at building, after all, out of both of us. Um, yeah, right. I'm literally the best builder to ever exist! Oh, really? Well, um, what does your Pikachu look like right now? It looks awesome, but I'm not gonna tell you because you'll never be able to Guess what it looks like? It is a super rare variant of Pikachu. Oh, I bet it's like a shiny one. You know, like the, the green ones. Wait, wait, wait. How did you know my Pikachu was green? Wait, what? Your Pikachu's green? Buddy, why is it green? Why are you cheating? How do you know what my Pikachu looks like? You gotta be cheating. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not cheating. I just, uh, I just know what shiny Pokemon look like. I mean, that is literally a part of Pokemon, right? You have shiny Pokemon and then normal Pokemon. Uh, I guess you're right, but I do not recall. But I do not recall shiny Pokemon being green. Oh, no, 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 guys. Kip might be on to me. I need to find a way fast to distract him. Oh, I have an idea. I'll go to his side again and troll him. And I'll try to distract him from the green Pikachu that I just talked about. But first, I'm going to go ahead and build this parkour room. Uh, hopefully, Kip does not ask me any more questions about this green Pikachu. So, Louis, how do you know that shiny Pokemon are green? Oh, no, guys. He's asking me questions. Uh, well, Kip, uh, um, I know that shiny Pokemon are green because I used to play Pokemon a ton. Yeah, that, that's why. Is that right? Well, what Pokemon did you use to play, Louie? Uh, I used to play a lot of, uh, Pikachu. Yeah, yeah. I had a shiny one, and it was green, and it used to shine, uh, really bright. <laughs> well, Louie, when Pikachu is shiny, he is literally orange, not green. So where did you get that information from? Oh, no, guys. I think Kip is on to me. 
<laughs> I need to distract him right now. I just completed my parkour room, and I should be able to bounce into the next room here. But guys, I need to distract Kip right now. Maybe I should convince him to stop asking me questions as his mother. So let me morph into Kip's mom. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and morph into Kip's mom. Let's just do this command, and boom! Now I'm a purple penguin, just like Kip. But guys, to make myself look like a girl, I need a wig. So I'll put this wind wig on. I think this should do. I kind of look like Marge Simpson. But anyways, guys, let's get over there. So let's just go out of the side of my Pikachu over here. And let's go convince Kip that I'm his mother. All right, come on, guys. We have to hurry before he asks me more questions. He's on to me. Oh, Kip, it's me, your mother. Uh, what the heck? How are you, my mother? What the heck is this? This is literally my mom. Hello, Kip. I'm here to uh, look at your Pikachu. And uh, it looks kind of ugly. But anyways, you keep asking that Louie boy questions. And I don't want you associated with him. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mom. Anyways, let's go back to my side before he realizes it wasn't his mom. Because why would his mom shoot him? Anyways, let's get back to my build. That was super weird. Why did my mom just shoot me? She had never shot me before. So I don't know if I'm believing that that is my real mom. Guys, Kip is getting so distracted right now. And Oh, maybe I should take this wig off. Uh, let me just do this. And there we go. But now he's distracted. He won't ask me any more questions about shiny Pikachu. Which means I'm safe now. Louie, you're lucky my mom just came to my face and stopped me from asking you questions. Of what? I would ask you all the questions in the world. Yeah, no, Kip. I don't want you asking me any questions about Pokemon because, uh, I don't know. I, I just don't think you're smart enough to understand my answers. Oh, uh, well, that is totally not true because I am a Pokemon master. A Pokemon master? That's what they all say until I beat you in a Pokemon battle. Well, I have the powers of Ash Ketchup. Um, Ash Ketchup? Uh, yep. Literally the main character of Pokemon, you idiot. Kip, the main character of Pokemon is called Ash Ketchum, not Ash Ketchup. Uh, Louie, you're totally lying. That is not true. Oh, well, whatever, Kip. Anyways, I'm building my next trap, and it's way better than yours. I'm building a question room. Oh, yeah, well, I'm also building... Building a question room. Are you copying me, Louie? No, I'm not copying you. I never have. I just wanted to ask some questions about Pokemon. So, um, Kip, keep working on your traps because I'm going to ask my questions now. And guys, the best place to start off is by actually asking the question that I just answered before. What is the main character of Pokemon called? And guys, obviously, the main character is called Ash Ketchum. Like that, spelled with a K-E-T-G. G G U M. Louie, I do not think that is how it's spelled. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really good at uh, pronouncing words. But anyways, now we have to put the wrong answer, which is going to be Ash Ketchup, which is spelled with a K-E-T-C C-H-U-B. Oh my gosh. But now, guys, if I go through this wrong answer, Ash Ketchup, then I will go straight down into this room of lava. And guys, I just placed something called a ghost block, which looks like a real block, but if you stand on top of it, you will go through it. It's really deadly, so you have to make sure to go through the right answers, and you can't tell which one is right or wrong. But it's time to work on the second question, which is going to be is Kip's mom evil? And guys, obviously, you just saw Kip's mom. It was me. And uh, Kip's mom, yes, she is evil. So if you walk through the yes door, you'll not die. But if you walk through the no door, then you will die. Because I know Kip will say his mom is not evil. All right, let's just go here, put some ghost blocks, and now if you go through here, you will fall into the lava. But it's time for one more question. And this has to be about Pokemon. So I'm going to ask, what type is Pikachu? So what type? is Pikachu. 
And guys, Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon. So that will be the right answer. But Pikachu is not a water type Pokemon. So if you walk through this door, you will die. That is perfect, guys. We now have a few traps inside of my build, but it's time to do even more. What could I build next? Oh, I have an idea. I'm going to make an obsidian platform and I'm going to make Kip open a bunch of lucky blocks. So let's just go all the way out this way and make a big platform. Here we go, and boom. I just made a big platform out of obsidian. Now let's get some lucky blocks and let's put them all on this platform. So now Kip will be able to open a bunch of them and he has to hope that he does not open an unlucky block or else he will die. <laughs> He will have to use all of the weapons he gets from this lucky block challenge to fight a deadly mob, which I'm going to put all the way over here. I'll just build out a few more blocks, and then I will set this all to obsidian. Now, I need some fences to keep whatever mob I'm going to spawn inside. So I'll get this fence, and I will get this fence. And then I'll just use the command wall's hand to make a fence around in a square. Now let's put the evil mob in. And guys, it's going to be this deadly frost mob. And if you punch it. Look how angry it gets. Rah! I think this thing looks super duper deadly and really scary. But that is exactly why, guys, I placed it down to scare Kip into leaving. It's going to be amazing. But now I think I'm going to build another trap and then we should be good. I think I want to build a find the button room. And let me show you how you do that, guys. All you need is a room that is quite big. So I'll just build out a few blocks like this. Go all the way over here. And I'm going to make a rectangular shaped room just with the outline command. And once I've done that, I can go inside of this room and I can go ahead and place a bunch of buttons. And I'm not just going to place a bunch of buttons for no reason, guys. Let me show you. I'm going to make it so the only way you can get out of this room is through this door. But you will have to find a button that powers it. And I will put buttons all over the wall to make it extremely hard for Kip to find the right one. It's going to be a nightmare for him. If he presses the wrong button, the door won't open and he will be stuck here for a very long time. And not only am I going to put the buttons on the walls, but I'm going to put them on the floor as well. And maybe even the roof. That would be pretty good. And guys, Kip always expects me to put the buttons on the wall, which is why this time I'm going to put the button on the roof or the floor. Guys, comment down below where you think I should put it. If you think I should put the button on the roof, then subscribe. But if you think I should put the button on the floor, then like this video. And hmm, I'm looking at the analytics right now, and it seems like people are subscribing, so I'm going to put the button on the roof! <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go ahead and get a redstone link, and I'll show you how to make this work. I'll just get this redstone link and place it right here with a block inside of it. Now, I just need another redstone link next to this door, and I will go ahead and power it. So now, if I go to exactly this block where the button is in this room, which is this button, and press it, it will open the door! And, oh, wait, Wait, it didn't work. Uh, oh, it's that one. Okay, if I press this button right here, the door will open up. So I have to press this button and then make a run for it. So go, 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 go. Now! Okay, maybe we can press it from here. And there we go. We can get out of the room now. But let's make a ladder that takes you up to the next one. And guys, I think I'm going to rub that little alien joke into Kip's face. <laughs> because he's probably building a Pikachu that is green and looks like an alien. I'm going to ask him a bunch of questions and make fun of him. So so let's just make two different doors. This is going to be like a question room, but instead, I'm not even going to kill him. I'm just going to use it to make fun of him. So let's get an online picture frame like this, and I'm going to place a sign saying, what does Kib's build look like? So now, guys, I'm going to put a picture right here, and it's going to be a Pikachu! But if Kip goes through this door, he's going to see exactly what his build looks like. So I'll just put this image right here, and yep, I think it's loading. Come on, just load the picture. And boom! That is exactly what his build looks like. It looks like this random dancing alien. And you know what? I'm going to make it dance even faster. Yeah, that looks really silly. But guys, now I'm going to make fun of him by using another door. And let's go ahead and say, what does Kip look like? 
make here. So I'm going to make a door right here and another door right here. And I'll get this online picture frame again and place it here right after I write the question, which is going to be, oh, what does Kip look like? And I'll give Kip two options. Does he look like a cool penguin? Does Kip look like this little baby penguin? Or does he look like this penguin? Oh my gosh, that is so ugly. But guys, I think it's time for one more question room. And this is going to be my favorite one. And then I'm going to ask the next question, which is, what does Louie look like? And guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I am a giga Chad. So what I'm going to do is put an image right here. And I'm going to make it look exactly like me. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks... Uh, you know what? That actually looks kind of ugly. Guys, what do you think? Does that guy look ugly or does he look like a Chad? Anyways, let's do the next one. I'm going to put another image right here. And... I'll put it right here like this and boom. So guys, do I look like this guy or do I look like uh, this guy? He's a Roblox character. But anyways, guys, if Kip answers the right question, if Kip answers with the right answer, which will totally be this guy who's like lifting his hair up with his eyebrows, then I'll go ahead and move Kip to the prize room because he deserves it for calling me a Chad. So let's just make a huge pile of diamonds. I'll start by making a large platform that comes all all the way out. And I'll set it to the hand. And now all I have to do is come up here and run this command. Pyramid diamond block eight. And there we go, guys. We have this huge diamond pile. Now I have a bunch of different traps and Kip will totally fall for them all. But wait a second, guys. Oh no, it says time is up. I have to get back into the middle right now. Louie! Are you ready to see my awesome build? It is literally the best Pikachu ever. Oh, of course I am, Kip. But, um, you said it's the best Pikachu ever. Are you sure about that? Of course I am. I am almost certain that it is the best Pikachu to ever exist. All right. Well, I'm coming around the corner. Oh, and... Uh, <laughs> Kip. Uh, Louie. Why are you laughing? <laughs> what is this? This is Pikachu. It looks super cool. Uh-huh. This is, uh, is this Pikachu or is this, like, Batman? Because why does it have a superhero mask on? What do you mean? Is this Batman? That is not a superhero mask. That is an alien face because an alien came to me and said that this Pikachu has been selected to become an alien. Oh, wait, uh, wait, uh, an alien? Yep, his name was Alan the Alien. He was super duper cool. Oh, wait, Alan the Alien? Oh, um, I'm sorry to say this, kid, but uh, Alan isn't real. Um, Louis, what do you mean Alan isn't real? I literally spoke to him. What are you on about? Oh, so, Kip, uh, you, you mean you mean this this alien? Hello, Glink Larp, it's me. What the heck? Louis, Alan just took over your body! Glink Larp, I am an alien now, and, um, Kip, you are dumb because you fell for my troll! <laughs> Alan, get out of Louis' body! Get out of there! Oh, my God, she's back! Louis, you're so lucky an alien just took over your body. Oh, my God. Kip, I'm literally Alan! I was trolling <laughs> you! Are you <laughs> and now your build looks trash, but I think it's time to get inside. So what do I do? I have to hop on this motorbike and go driving in. You can try this, but this might not work. So let's see, Louie. Go ahead and try it. I'm gonna do a wheelie. And whoa! Oh my gosh, I made it! No, you did not get this away from here. Get back over here. That was not supposed to happen. What do you mean? Uh, oh. And I'll go in this chest and you'll finally learn how to do it the proper way. All right, fine. I see a bunch of boats and wait a second. This is just like my trap. Are you kidding me, Louie? Did you copy me again? Uh, maybe. But anyways, let's see if I can do this. I have to jump down and boom. Oh, no. Ow. Okay, that hurts. Louie, you suck at using boats. Are you sure you even learned how to boat clutch? Oh, well, Kip, when I'm up here and jump down, I lose my jumping momentum, so I cannot jump. I just go flying into the lava. Well, Louie, if you just come over here, you'd easily be able to get through. But because you suck, you probably won't be able to. And oh, my God! But I made it, Louie. That was super easy. So you made it so these lasers didn't damage me. Oh, I should have known. Okay, let me jump across here. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm through. Let's go! 
Oh, wait, that was just my decoy entrance, and you totally fell for it. Decoy entrance? What is this supposed to be? Let me just climb up here and jump in. Well, this is the real entrance. That was the decoy entrance. Oh, I see. That was supposed to stop me, but uh, I still got across. But anyways, Kip, enough about that. What is this? This is my question room. And it is super massive. Let's see then. Question one. How many Pikachus does Ash Ketchup have? Uh, his name is not Ash Ketchup. It's Ash Ketchup. It is Ash Ketchup, Louie. You are so dumb. Oh, well, whatever. Anyways, the main character of Pokemon has a one Pikachu. So we should go through the one door. And you are right. Now you are on to the next round, which is what is main character from Pokemon Go? Oh, well, clearly he's called Ash Ketchup. So let me go through here and ow. Oh, my gosh. You told me wrong! It is Ash Ketchup, so let's just go through here, and that was awesome! That was so mean! Little bit, you totally died! Oh, oh, no, I didn't. But anyways, Kip, I'm gonna do question three, and it is, which Pokemon is better? Well, clearly, Pikachu is the best. And wait, what? Pikachu is not the best! Mewtwo is purple and super duper powerful. That's why Mewtwo is way better! You too. Bro, I think you should start mewing because you look ugly. Anyways, let's go to the next room. Are you serious right now? I'm literally a Giga Chad. But now you're onto my red light, green light. So are you ready? Oh, yes, I am, buddy. And I've noticed something a little bit strange about this room. But I'm not telling you yet. Okay, Louie. Well, green light. And you can now go. Okay, guys. While Kip is confused and wondering why I'm not moving, let me just slide over here to the right. And this torch looks awfully suspicious. So let me just boop and hee 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 hee. Are you kidding me, Louie? What are you doing? You can't see me, so you pretty much can't disqualify me. I made it to the end. Are you kidding me? You totally beat my course. Oh, well, now you can go up here into my next room. Yeah, well, Kip, while I was on the way to your next room, actually, I noticed there was a secret chest over here that has mirrors inside. Are you kidding me? You totally found my mirror stash already. Oh, no. This is super bad and just scared. You died. Oh, well, anyways, Kip, I'm here now. And I know what this room is about. I have to reflect this laser around and... Uh, wait a second. I... I can't reflect the laser here. Oh, well, there you go. Now you can, Louie. That was my mistake, but now you can totally reflect it. All right, perfect. Let me just put these mirrors right here, right here, and okay, I think I went the wrong way. Uh, let me just go this way. I, I think this way will be the right way, right? Uh, Louie, you better hope because this is a super hard mirror trap. You might even fall into the fans. Oh, buddy, come on. I cannot fall into the fans. I am literally the best at mirrors. Let me just put it here, and then beep, and Oh, oh, boop. oh, yep, there it is. Let's go. And oh, you totally beat my Pikachu build, and you found my Ash Ketchup stats. Your Ash Ketchup stats. Oh, my gosh, Louie. You totally beat my Pikachu. Uh, yeah, and I even did some parkour up to the top of it. I'm now on top of Ash Ketchup. Let's go. But I bet your build is 10 times worse. Oh, yeah? Well, let's go over there right now, and I'll show you. Let's go. Anyways, Kip, we went to your base, but now it's time for you to see mine. Are you ready? Of course I am, Louie, and I'm ready to see how terrible your base is. All right, well, go ahead and take a little look-see. And what the heck is this? How did you build this? I don't know, Kip, but how do you think? An uh -oh. oh, no, my statue's still there. Let me just uh, get rid of this, get rid of this. Uh, Louie, what is this? Uh, nothing, nothing. This is just uh, my practice. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, me practicing to... Build a Pokemon! Okay, well, this practice looks terrible compared to what you actually built. So you had the time to build a practice build and a massive Pikachu! Uh, yeah, yeah. I was just making sure that uh, my Pikachu building skills were up to par <laughs> before I started building that one, of course. Uh, that was the real deal. Likely story, Louis. So let me go for your base then. And what is this? There are two entrances. Yep, well, you have to pick the correct one. And uh, let me see. Hip, keep out. Well, obviously, I need to go from this one then. Are you ready? I'm gonna jump over. Let me just do some jumping jack. And uh, let me get ready. Are you ready? Of course I am. Okay. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Oh! Yeah, you just 
totally jumped into the lava and died. Are you kidding me? How is that possible? But wait, what is under this mat? And it's a bunch of bones! Louis, you totally copied my first trap. Uh, what are you talking about? No, I didn't. You definitely did because this was my first trap. Uh, no, you copied my first trap. But anyways, Kip, go ahead and try and get over the lava. And okay, you are good at that boat parkour. <laughs> No, you're not. All right, Louie, are you ready for this again? This is part two. Uh, sure thing, buddy. G go ahead. Let me through! Okay, okay, and oh, you died to the electric fence. Ew, that's gonna hurt. And wait, what? Let's go! You just parkoured over the entire wall in a single jump. Yeah, that's because I am a professional jumper. Okay, you are something crazy. And Louie, are you kidding me? I've already beat your entire trap. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you beat my base. Now you can go to the diamonds. Let's go! Let me just do this, and I'll easily be able to sneak into your... Are you kidding me? Ah, 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 ah. You're not getting in there, and... Uh, oh, oh, my God! God! <laughs> Louie, are you kidding me? This only just blow me up! Yeah, you tried to skip my laser trap, but you didn't realize there's a mine! <laughs> are you kidding me? Well, Louie, this obviously isn't the real entrance, so where is the real entrance? Well, the real entrance is all the way back here, Kip. Follow me! All right, then, Louie, let me follow you, and how do you expect me to get over there? Are you an idiot? Oh, don't worry, buddy. I'll teleport you. Let me just do this command, and... Uh, oh, it's not working. It's not working. Let me just have uh, a boop. There you are. There you are. All right. Well, then let's break into this place. And how do you expect me to get out? Oh, are you kidding me? I died as soon as I saw the address. But I'm back. And I'm totally breaking it. So get me in here. All right. You got it, Kib. You got it this time, buddy. Just go ahead and jump over this trap. Yep. You know, just, just keep jumping. Go on. <laughs> I'm not going to jump into barrier blocks, Louie. I am not an idiot. What? I can see. <sighs> and wait. There's an idiot. Let's go. Oh, you're a lot smarter than you look, Kip. But anyways, whatever. You now have to get through my laser reflecting room, which is way harder, by the way. Are you kidding me? This is literally a maze. Yeah. How do you expect me to do this when it's a maze? This is actually impossible. I'm going to die. Yep, the best thing is you keep dying to the laser. So eventually, hopefully, you will die and I will kill you again. That is not happening again, Louie. You are never going to kill me with your stupid traps. They are terrible. Oh, yes, I will. Just you wait until you get that laser into the reflector. Well, there we go. Now I got over and boom! What? I am not dying today, Louie! Oh, fine. We'll go up to the next room, buddy. Now it's time for the parkour room. And hey, uh, look, Kip, I even put green blocks like a green alien Pikachu. Are you kidding me, Louie? You did that just to tease me. <laughs> I had so much fun pretending to be an alien and also being your mom. <laughs> <laughs> no way, this is not fair. I need to beat your stupid obstacle car because you put the blocks here just to tease me. Yep, I did. And wait, did you not hear what I said before about me being your mom? Wait, you were my mom as well. Um, yes, of course I was your mother. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's why she shot me. She doesn't normally do me. Oh my god. She never uses a gun, but I do. Well, the way now I'm gonna have to get my cat back, and I'm definitely gonna crash out. Oh, you're gonna crash out? All right, well, uh, good luck with that, buddy. Anyways, let's see if you crash out on this question room. Of course I am! Get me from me! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Kip, you died. Well, you got the answer right. The answer is obviously Ash Ketchup. So I just need to change this really quickly. Wait, Let me wait, just what? do this. What are you doing? Ash Ketchup and boom! Hey, oh, whatever, Kip. Here's the next question. Is your mom evil? Of course she is. So let me go for... Are you kidding me? You totally killed me again! Uh, well, I didn't specify which mom. Um, I'm talking about when I was pretending to be your mom. I was evil as your uh, mom. Right? Yeah, you were. And that is super annoying. And let's see this. What type is Pikachu? Electric or water? Um, Louie, you have to be stupid to think he's water. It's electric! And, oh, my God. Louie, what is that? Well, that is an evil monster that you will have to fight. But before you do that, you'll have to go ahead and... And you'll break all these lucky blocks. All right, well then, let's do this. And there we go. I just got 
some diamonds, and then also some a sword, a villager, some Wait. armor, some bow that. I totally just died. Are you totally kidding me? <laughs> You died, but Kim, you did get some pretty strong armor. Oh, this is yep. not good. I'm gonna get the strongest armor all in Minecraft. Whoa, that's the biggest slime ever! Oh, well, it fell down, so you don't even have to fight it. But anyways, Kim, I'm going to now give you a crafting table. And go ahead and use that to craft some armor and weapons if you have enough diamonds. Well, that's what I'm going to do then, Louie. And thank you very much, because I need some diamond pants, and then also some diamond boots, and a diamond helmet. And there we go. Now I am ready for this stupid fight. And I didn't even need the boots so they can go over there. Let me see. Do I have any wood? And I do not. So I am ready for this fight. So let's go! Okay. And hey, 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 hey. You're not allowed to cheat, buddy. I'm destroying that ladder there. You have to go let's ahead go! and fight it. Fight it. What are you doing? I tried to run away and it's super strong. Yeah, you're not allowed to run away. You have to fight this frost mob, buddy. Oh, and he just froze me. Are you kidding me? I'm so dead, Louie. I'm gonna die! You can kill it, Kim! Just keep trying! Let me try turn him off with this button. Turn off! And there we go! It totally works! Wait, no, it didn't! Bro, you can't turn off a mob with a button. It doesn't work like that! All uh, right, well, then I'm gonna teleport to the end. Let's go! And I'm dead. Are you kidding me? Did you try to go to the end in the middle of a boss fight? Well, yes, of course I was because this guy is super strong. I'm literally burning him at what? Are you kidding me? Uh, I think your lucky sword blew you up there. But oh no, the frost ball is jumping. Well, don't worry because he's almost dead. I'm gonna kill him. And I can't believe my own sword literally killed me. That is super annoying. Oh, come on. Please don't kill the frost ball. Now you killed it. Let's go. It's because I turned him off with this button right here, which was super duper smart. Oh, whatever, Kip. Come on, then. I'll let you through to the next room. All right, then let's go. Wait, what? Did you just blow up my base? Oh, it's a good thing there's obsidian there. And now we can go on to the next room, which is this room. And what is this, Louis? That's just a bunch of buttons on the wall. And wait, I've wait, got a lever. Hey, no, no. You're not allowed to do that. That's cheating. All right, well, then let me try and find a way in here. And let's see. I cannot find a single way. Wait, but wait, what is this button? Wait. Let's go! Hey! Oh, you are such a little cheater. But anyways, Kim, come on. Follow me to the next room. This one is the hardest one of them all. I, I bet you it is, and I bet you it's super duper easy. And what is this? What does Kim's build look like? And it's this random green alien dancing. And I'm gonna make a song to him. Um, Kim, yeah, that is exactly what he's singing, actually. It goes, Dame tu cosita, ah! Uh. Ay, yeah, but, um, Kip, I think your build looks like that alien, so you should probably go through that door. Nope, I think it looks like Pikachu! And I was right, let's go! Fall down that hole. But anyways, now it's time for the next question, which is what does Kip look like? Is it that cute little penguin or, uh... That. that is a creepy penguin, and I'm definitely the penguin on the left, so let's go! And I was right again! Well, both of the answers are right. I was just seeing whether you would call yourself ugly. But anyways, what do I look like? A Giga Chad or a Giga Chad? Um, are you kidding me? Let me just do something really quickly. Hold on. Let me just do this, this, uh, what, this, what, what this, are you doing? What are you this. doing? Uh, Kip? And let uh, me just uh, get this right here. What are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? Let me just remove this, remove this, remove this. What are you this, doing? Place this right here, and then also do do this, and then do this, and then... Run! Are you kidding me? Oh, wow! Oh, no. And that's more like it. I don't think you look like any of those people. Well, whatever, Kip. I guess you made it. You got all the way to the end of my Pikachu base. Let's go! And now all of these diamonds are mine, Louie, and you can do nothing about it. Yeah, but Kip, we've gone through both of our bases now. But whose base do you think was the best? I think mine was way better. It was literally an alien variant of Pikachu! What? No, mine was totally better. It's so realistic. Oh, I guess you're right. Your Pikachu was super realistic. Yep, and it's also really big, right? It is massive. I do not know how you built this in in this short amount of time. So, Louie, I think you win this build challenge, which is super sad. Wait, oh my no God. way. I just won this build challenge. And the funny part is, guys, I did it all while using <laughs> slash slash small. <laughs> um, Louie, are you lying to me? How would you use slash slash small? This is literally... 
massive! Uh, I don't know, buddy. I typed in slash slash small and it made it big for some reason. But I still cheated! And I won! Why are you doing that? You did not win that! Oh, I'm gonna get you, Louie! Oh. Get back here! Oh, get away from me! You better get back here, Louie! I'm gonna get you! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and want to see more just like this one, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Let's go!